let p be any point on the given parabola y is equal to x square and let's assume that the coordinates of this point are t t square now let's assume that the distance between the given point 0 c and t t square is d therefore d square is equal to 0 minus t whole square plus c minus t square whole square the first term on the right hand side is equal to t square and the second term can be expanded as c square plus t raised to the power 4 minus 2 c t square. This can be written as t raised to the power 4 plus 1 minus 2 c times t square plus c square. Now we add and subtract 1 minus 2 c upon 2 whole square to the expression on the right hand side. The first three terms form a perfect square which is equal to t square plus 1 minus 2 c upon 2 whole square and the last two terms add up to equal 1 upon 4 times in brackets 4 c square minus 1 minus 2 c whole square which is equal to 1 minus 4 c plus 4 c square. This simplifies and is equal to 1 upon 4 times 4c minus 1, which is equal to c minus 1 upon 4. Therefore, d square is equal to t square plus 1 minus 2c upon 2 whole square plus c minus 1 upon 4. Now, c minus 1 upon 4 is a constant, and t square plus 1 minus 2c upon 2 whole square is always greater than or equal to 0. And for d to be a minimum, this first term will need to be equal to 0. This happens when t square plus 1 minus 2c upon 2 is equal to 0 or t square is equal to 2c minus 1 upon 2 or t is equal to plus minus square root of c minus half. Therefore, d achieves its minimum when t is equal to plus minus square root of c minus half and the minimum value of d square is equal to c minus 1 upon 4. In other words, the shortest distance between the given point and the parabola is equal to square root of c minus 1 upon 4, which is the required answer.